it's time for a bit more testing of the boards from PCBWay. I must say these boards have come out amazingly well. Check out PCBWay, there is a link in the description of the video. And thanks also to all the Patreons who are supporting me. So what I want to test today is the battery charging and the expansion port. So I've plugged in a battery, you can see it's at 4.1 volts and we're testing out the charging circuitry. And I have messed this up before, so I'm quite interested to make sure that I've done it right. So hopefully we should see the battery voltage going up. So that seems to be pretty successful. We also want to monitor how much current we're drawing. So 200 milliamps with the whole thing turned off, that does match up with the actual resistor I've used for the, um, for the battery charging circuit. And then when we're running, we're running at around 300 milliamps. So that's not too bad. What's quite interesting when there's music playing is um, it is actually drawing quite a lot of current, so around 0 0.4, 0 0.5 amps. And if we look at the, uh, the graph, it's really fascinating. So we are drawing quite a lot of current with the speaker and the voltage, which is the yellow trace, is dipping down quite a bit. So you can see that if I just um, move this a bit closer. When the music stops, it calms down a bit, but then as soon as we start playing music again, we do get that uh, voltage drop and the current spikes. So I think what I need to do is add a bit more of a decoupling capacitors around the speaker side of the system. Um, so I'll be looking at that and how to improve that. And if we turn off, then uh, everything goes back just to charging the battery. Um, so we're back to our 200 milliamps. Now I may actually increase the charging current uh, with a 1000 milliamp hour battery. That's going to take a while to charge. But just to prove it does work, I've just unplugged the USB. And you can see it's all running off battery now. So everything works as you'd expect. And we still can play Manic Miner. So that's pretty good. We still get all the stuff working. And it works really well off battery. That's uh, not bad at all. And just to check, I'm going to try charging the battery to its full capacity. So just to prove it is working, you can see the light has turned green when the battery is fully charged. Now you might be wondering what all these wires are doing here. Well, I want you to test the expansion port as well. So what I've done is I've exposed the display lines on the expansion port and I should have exposed the SD card pins on the expansion port. But unfortunately, I made a slight wiring mistake and I didn't expose the right pins. But what I've got now is a Pi Pico, my nice pink Pi Pico, wired up to the expansion port and the display. So what we should be able to do now is, let me just move the camera so you can see everything. Um, I'll plug in the Pi Pico, I'll turn on the board, plug in the Pi Pico. We're now running an emulator on the Pi Pico, which is driving the display via the expansion port, and it's hooked up to my keyboard. So what we should be able to do, if this is working, is just uh, make sure keyboard's configured. And why isn't that working? Oh, there we go. So there we go. So this is working over I squared C. So our ESP32 is reading the keyboard and that's sending messages over I squared C to the Pi Pico, which is running another emulator that's then driving the screen. So you can see that all works nicely. We can go into basic and I've also hooked up the buzzer. So we should be able to get a beep out of this. So beep one comma two. It's pretty quiet, but if we go into the menu, which I think I do like that, into nine and then pump up the volume and then exit from that. Let's try that again. Beep one comma two. We've got sound as well. Now I'm going to jury rig the SD card so that I'm exposing the right pin and try that. And then I'll show you something quite interesting. So I've got my bodge wire wired up and um, now I've got everything else wired through the expansion port. So if we go into the menu, go into snapshots, you can see we have all these snapshots and that works well. So let's scroll down and we'll start up the usual uh, Manic Miner. So that's working fine. Loads it up. Uh, we're going to jump around. Oops. Oh dear. So why is this interesting, you might ask? I mean, we can do this with the ESP32. What's so special about this expansion slot? Well, let me show you something very cool. So yes. Why is this interesting? Well, I've now wired up an HDMI breakout board. 
still plugged into my keyboard here. But if I turn the camera around, there you go. We have a big screen. Everyone's been asking for it. You've now got one. So this is all very experimental. Obviously, at some point, we'll need to make this work properly uh, with an expansion um, board. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. So let's just type in a bit of code. Hello world. Uh, where's the semicolon gone? There it is. There we go. Big screen for you all. So um, obviously what we need to do is get this board actually finished and in production. So the expansion board will come later. I need to start thinking quite carefully about um, EMI and EMC. So I'm going to spin up a new version of the board. I'll be switching to a four layer board and I'm thinking about those sort of things now, getting ready for production. So I'll see you in the next video.